Sup, 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 guys. We're really here for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Council. Welcome to a brand new Tech Tuesday. I know last week we uh, did not have a Tech Tuesday. That's mainly because I wanted to give the series a, a week break. And I wasn't really feeling, you know, all that up to doing a Tech Tuesday. But this week is a lot different. We're going to be covering number S0, Utopic Zexel. And this card is actually the next show in Jump promo. So it won't be in the packs. It won't be... In a tin, it'll basically get reprinted in a special edition or a tin or something along those lines, which is actually good. Bad for your, good for everyone else. Um, so this is pretty much Shockmaster Reborn to an extent, and I always talk highly about a certain deck called Raid Raptors, which will be on the channel soon enough. And honestly, this is like the final push that that deck really truly heartily needs, and I've been saying it for the longest of time. They just need like a perfect format and we're getting close to it and this card alone could easily bring us there so we're going to go over to why so i'm going to read its effect and now i'll go into the uses and why you should actually give two shits about it maybe even make it work for your own deck three number exceed monsters with the same rank keep that in mind number exceeds with the same rank by the way there's birds uh chirping outside you may be able to hear because motherfucker now you won't hear the birds because I chaos trapped hold them just like black wings anyways <laughs> so three number exceed monsters with the same rank this card's original rank is always treated as one you can also exceed this card by discarding one rank up magic normal spell card then using a utopia monster you control as the exceed material and the materials that were attached to that monster become exceed materials for this this card's Exceed Summon cannot be negated, and when Exceed Summon, your opponent's cards and effects cannot be activated. This card gains 1,000 attack and 1,000 defense for each Exceed material attached to it. Once returned during your opponent's turn, you can detach one Exceed material from this card. Your, opponent, uh, your opponent's cards and effects cannot be activated during this turn. This is a quick effect. This is Shockmaster 2.0, folks. Now, I know what some of you are probably going to instantly say, I can just Utopia the Lightning. Mm, fuck that shit. That's not the point. The point is, you make this, you sit behind back row like Solemn Strike and whatnot, and then, boom, you poop on an opponent when they make that Utopia the Lightning or whatnot. Um, or, basically, you just pump this guy up to, like, 5,000. You know, it's not that hard. The main point is that when you bring this out, you're going to be able to, like, shit on your opponent. Something like Raid Raptors, which is the reason I go back to when I talk about it. They're able to spam out monsters, therefore spamming out ranks. And that is a big, big, big holy shit moment when you realize how good this is. Because that deck plays, not every version of it, but one of the prime versions plays normal rank up uh, spell cards that are not quick play or whatnot so you'll be able to get away with it now if you're playing something like way back in the day like gadgets or you know they call their comeback version and do a rank up version where you're playing the rank 4 dot deck you know with rank up magics that are normal then you'll be able to actually use this quite well and all you really have to do is do the utopia wombo combo utopia into utopia prime into chaos 39 into another utopia prime or however that you want to work that and then overlay to this and you get a big 4,000 beat stick that can pretty much nullify the field and remember what I said about it's a Shockmaster 2.0 because you can basically poop on effects and you're going to poop on Utopia the Lightning you just call for effect on your opponent's turn they can't use Utopia the Lightning's effect so that's why it's pretty much a giant dank you know fucking monster and why you should actually care about it. Artwork is straight out of Zexel. I'm not even going to deny it. I don't like the artwork. We don't really talk about artwork too often. It's also a warrior. It's also a number. Technically a number. So for you number hunters, you'll love this one. It's great to have. Um, what else can we really say about this? Right now, meta-wise, I can't say that it's any better than Utopia Lightning. It's a big push for Raid Raptors, pretty much putting them from that kind of rogue factor into a possibility of being lined up to actually overtake the game. And when I say that, what I'm trying to like paraphrase here is if we get the perfect format, the perfect ban list that just knocks Cosmo's teeth in and just takes out Monarchs, then Raid Raptors pretty much will be that oh my god deck that we all hoped that Infernoids were at one point but never were. So it's kind of sad, I know. 
Guys, if there's something you want me to talk about, whether it be a card or a deck profile, make sure to tell me in the comments any day of the week, no matter how long ago this video is out from when you're watching it, feel free to. I always look back on the comments. I always get the notifications. Secondly, thank you guys for watching it. Thank you for the continued support. Make sure to tune in to our other channels as well because Super Council Gaming is coming back today. Fuck copyright strikes that Nintendo is supposed to protect this from, but didn't. I'm just a little, like, salty from it. I'm still under the weather, so I'm going to just end off the video here. Sorry that it's short. I wanted to do, like, a 10-minute topic video and go into combos that you could do with this and how it's so useful and the possibilities of where it could go, but I'm just really battling a bad stomach viral, and it's just a pain in the ass. But thank you guys so much, and I will see you tomorrow with more Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff for you. Yu-Gi-Oh! goodness, put it all in there. See you later. Peace.